I'm sure this is not how we're going to get to where we need to go. We don't want to go further down, I'm guessing. Oh! <laughs> oh no! It's made my controls backwards. <laughs> this is the best game ever, man. Hey guys, welcome back to Stray. Looks like uh, the game started us a little bit further back than where we were last time. Um, been a couple weeks too since I played the game, so it's going to take me probably a second to figure things out again. Um, Alright, well there's the look key. Okay, that's a light. Yeah, it's going to take me a second probably. <laughs> Um, but I think since we've already watched this, I'm going to go ahead and skip this if I can. Nope, I don't guess I can. Um, just a heads up too, I'm um, not sure if it came through much in last episode or not. Um, but if you do notice some of the gameplay audio sort of doubling down I'm trying you know I'm trying to sync these properly so that doesn't become an issue um, but that is just uh, sort of the nature of the beast dealing with uh, PlayStation is that I have to have this playing through my television to actually be able to hear any of it right now until I get a 3.5 millimeter audio jack from the store which weirdly enough like one thing you like never buy anymore I've got to buy one um, because PlayStation 5, uh, whenever you connect, uh, the Pulse headset to it, will stop putting audio through HDMI, so my, my capture card isn't able to pick up the audio for the game if I have my headset on, <laughs> so, um, something I've got to do some wheeling and dealing to work around it. Um, there's no setting in it to, to set it to where it'll do that. Like, a Xbox, even Xbox One had that. Um, but, uh, yeah, maybe PlayStation will fix it in the future, but for now, I'm just gonna jury rig it. Like, I think most everybody probably has to do. For now, though, um, quality might not be the absolute best when it comes to the... Well, I'm, I'm going to say that, but I'm, I'm going to try my best to make sure that the audio does not double down and you don't hear, like, duplicates of it, which I feel like I, I may have succeeded in last episode. Alright, this is where we left off now, now that we've uh, gotten all that out of the way, all the, all the um, housekeeping in order there. Look lost, what do you need? Is there... Oh, I can show him an item. So that looks like where we're going next. Talk to somebody who knows how to get out of there. Cause, uh, we need to know how to get out of here, I guess. Because uh, last episode we fell. And all the other cats just went on with their lives. Oh yeah, best part of the game! These folks all sleeping? Thought we were a zerk, which uh, I think last time uh, I was calling them snarks, like from uh, Half Life, because that's that's what they look like to me. They look like snarks from Half Life. I'm just thinking about that too. Um, after after we conclude this, I'm not sure where we're gonna go next, like next game, but I'm thinking might try doing Black Mesa uh, Zen. 
Uh, I've played through it already on my own, but I uh, wanted to maybe play it for the channel. Really thought you'd take the elevator. Never seen that thing work. 374 years old tomorrow. Wow. You're an old robot with a CRT face. Can I show him the picture too? Oh, wow. You're trying to make me feel bad, huh? What if I knock things off your shelves? Oh, what's this? Warmth and well-being in our ancestors. Help them to grow, huh? Oh, more translating. Our long gone ancestors, the soft ones. <laughs> I guess talking about humans because we're all, all pudgy and, <laughs> and, and soft. <laughs> Our home is their legacy. Okay, cool. Whoop. So I'm going to assume all of these guys are going to have probably the same thing to say. I'm going to try to look around and see if there's maybe some kind of side quest we can do too. I'm not sure how linear this is or if it's uh, it's mostly, uh, you know, if it's linear or if it's going to be somewhat uh, like a little bit of open world-ish. Uh, we'll have to see. Add a bit of water and look how big they get. It is an amazing technology. Okay. And I'm assuming he's going to say the same thing about the postcard that everybody else says. So. I'm sure this is not how we're going to get to where we need to go. We don't want to go further down, I'm guessing. Oh! <laughs> oh no! It's made my controls backwards. <laughs> this is the best game ever, man. <laughs> yes, dude. Saves mysterious password. Okay. Is this... Hold on. Um, nope, that's not it. Here we go. Uh, can we... Okay. Read this, please. It's written, follows the numbers... But it looks like a binary language, a succession of zeros and ones. Okay. Must be able to decipher it in one way or another. Probably related to this safe. Yeah, I think so. Okay. So that's something we'll have to work toward. I'm trying to remember how to sprint. I've, I've just figured out how to meow and to set my cats off. There we go, that's how we sprint. Yeah! Whoa, okay. Oh, more stuff to translate. Barterman. Super spirit laundry. Whatever that means. Grandma clothing. Elliot programming. I'm interested <laughs> what these things mean. Elliot programming, okay. <laughs> what is this? Is it not going to let me talk to him? Hello? 
Okay, you're just gonna... Rude! Rude. I'm gonna take my money elsewhere. My non-existent money, because... I'm a cat, and I know nothing of your robot economics. Grandma Clothing. Is that your name, or is... Or is what you do make clothing? I do love knitting. So far, I've knitted 478 miles of scarves. <clears throat> And something to do. If you bring me some electric cable, I could make you a poncho. That sounds awesome. An electric cable poncho? You inspire me. Oh, well, thank you. It's not easy to find the right materials around here. Okay, cool, cool. I'm going to show this to you. Oh, you know what? We could probably show that to the... To the... Um, to the programming guy. If he's willing to... To be reasonable... And to talk with someone when they knock on the door. Come out here and speak to me, Elliot. I'm, I'm walking in. Elliot, speak to me. Oh, you're not even Elliot. You're someone named Nestor. We were programming, programmed to be slaves, but since... Let's see, that's... Two... Let's see, is that two? Yeah, two billion, five hundred forty-four million... 875,556 days. We have a soul. I uh, hope one day the outsiders will find the, uh, the exit. Okay, wow. Elliot, I need you to read this paper. Here it means... Duffer Bar. It gives a rendezvous via binary code. Huh. Okay. So I'm guessing that sends us to a place called Duffer Bar. Whatever that means. Yes! We can scratch his dra drapes! Can be absolutely horrible monstrosities. Destroying everything in a house. Table legs. Couches. Drapes. This tree is a scientific marvel. Oh, okay. It's remarkable that human ingenuity found a way to create plants that thrive without sunlight. <clears throat> that is strange. Organic life requires trees to purify the city's air. Robots don't need it, but they take care of them anyway. It's what the humans would have wanted. I'm a human. I do like trees. Trees are pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Let's knock some things down. Yeah! Break it! <laughs> okay. Where do we go from here? There we go. We're near the neon sign place now. <laughs> it's funny how much this cat reminds me, uh, sort of makes me think of my, my own, um, 
Orange tabby. What are you doing? Careful, need to focus. Don't want to drop another bucket. Okay. I'm going to make you drop another bucket. Okay. We need to time this better. We have to be an absolute pest. <laughs> Don't know why we wanted to do that. But we did. Did we just cause this dude to get fired? <laughs> Alright. Glad I could help. power supply. Okay. Wow, there seems to be a lot to do here. Oh, we picked up another battery. What can we do with this thing? Yes. I don't know why we picked this up. I'm going to put it back, because I don't know what it does. Alright, so I'm guessing maybe that's enough fiddling around for now. Maybe we should try to progress at least a little bit. <clears throat> and maybe all this other stuff will become a bit more clear as we go. Oh, was this the bucket that I rode down on earlier? I think it might... I don't know, it might have been. Hard to tell. Let's see. Oh, what's this guy's deal? Okay. <clears throat> Oh, neat. He just napped like a good boy. Okay. So let's see. Neon sign. Oh, right there. Now, how do we get up there? Just. I guess so, yeah. That works. He's sad. What's this? Outsiders. Okay. Oh, neat. <laughs> Turned off his music. I love how many things you can interact with in this game. <laughs> Oh no, I've done it again. Oh no. I can't control anything. Never gonna work. Why did I let them go? I'm all, alo all alone now. I want to show you this postcard. Well, don't bother.
father. It's a waste of time. It will bring you only loneliness and despair. My friends had this dream too. Now they're gone. And I'm all alone. Don't know where they ended up. Tried to contact them. But that... Oh, he used a bad word, looks like. <laughs> glad it glad it censored it for me so I didn't have to do all the hard work. <laughs> My friends and I took notes of our research about the outside. Uh, here, take mine if you really want to go there. Neat. New things. You're on your own. I'm done with the outside. Good luck. Okay. Momo seems very sad. He misses his friends. Let me check the notebook he gave us. The Outsider's Manifesto. We must go outside at any cost. We must protect our brothers and sisters. We must stay away from Zerks. It's signed Clement Zabalt Zabaltazer Doc and Momo. Looks like Momo's name was added later. I think we should find the other notebooks. Okay. I'm guessing that's that's the plan that, then. That's how we're going to get out, is by collecting all the notebooks, possibly. I see there's a new memory thing to grab here, though. Oh, back home, too. I remember this video game. It was made just after I was created, I think. Can't remember it well. Scientist and I spent a lot of time playing it. It was fun. I miss him. Why can't I remember his name? Maybe you'll get there. We're collecting memories. Dude's just leaving his refrigerator open all the time? Ah, you get to tear up the wallpaper now. Yes. Excellent. Alright, so now we just have to find where we, I guess, take these things or collect more of them. Hmm. Guessing this is just scratching post right here, right? Yeah, just scratching post. Not gonna bother with it. Yeet. Okay. The symbol on the wall matches the one on the notebook. Okay. Okay, cool. So I'm guessing that's the next location. Seems like a lead. Okay, cool. Let's bebop our way over there. Can we get there quickly if we slide down this thing? No, probably not, but we're still going down it, because it's cool. Yeah. I have to say, uh, again, I feel like I say it, I've said it a bunch already. Super fun game, super, like, humorous. I like the just the charm of it, and it just seems, uh, you know, it's real pretty, too. Alright. What are we looking for? We just, oh, okay, we're just going through here. What's this? Sheet music again. <laughs> I wonder what that's about. Oh, another notebook. Hey, look at that. An outsider notebook. It's the same logo as the one Momo gave us. Okay. Uh, this one seems to belong to someone named Clementine. Everything is going according to plan. We managed... Ooh. Too, too fast. Too fast. 
We managed to contact the upper level before the transceiver went down. Uh, they are in a place called Midtown, and apparently it's controlled by some kind of oppressive force. Okay. I talked to Momo earlier, his eyes. I know this look. He will not come with us. Let's find the other notebooks. Okay. Alrighty. So then I'm guessing maybe we need to bebop around town and find all the locations that are... Uh, marked like this or have some kind of a marking like that on it I'm unsure oh I think I see another one oh is this something we can break oh neat I don't know what that does, but cool. I like how how strangely interactive it, this game is, and and just how much uh, like how much some of the stuff you find your character doing is uh, just like a real cat would probably do, or, or you know, just the sort of inquisitive kind of like curious stuff you'd see from maybe a real cat like I you know like I said earlier um, it reminds me or makes me think of my own orange tabby he's a really, really vocal cat like if he jumps up on something he'll make a, a noise like mewing and purring and things like that all the time oh no this guy's dead looks like how to develop your artificial intelligence in order to be as creative as a real human volume 42. Okay. More music. Neat. I wonder what the sheet music thing is all about. Seems like some kind of collectible, but not sure exactly like what it's uh, for. If it's like a sort of an in-game thing you can get, uh, or if it's part of a uh, quest here. Oh, I'm knocking down like stacks of books. I didn't even notice that. Right. Oh, must be here. Um, let's see. The other one was next to a computer screen, but it looks like this one might not be. Oh, maybe over here. I see lights. Translation. Hey, Doc. I found keys to your safe. You need to be more careful with these. Gain new item. Okay. Cool, cool. Oh, okay, so there's a safe near the library here. Okay. And we've got some keys for it. I'm wondering if maybe that's where the journal's gonna be then. <laughs> we are making an absolute mess of this place. And I love it. This is awesome. Alright. So I've not seen a... a journal in here, so I'm assuming that it probably is uh, in the safe outside, sort of like the thing was mentioning, or unless... Hold on, let's see. Nope, nope, that's just a place to sleep. <laughs> Alrighty. So I think that's the next place to check, I'm guessing, is out back of the library here. Rip humans. Heart. 
Humans were the first residents around here. Seems like... Or seems that they're all dead now. Well, that's depressing. What do you think it feels like being dead? You know what's silly coming from me? Are they actually at peace? Will I be at peace when I die? I don't know what death feels like for an AI. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't want to break the mood. Let's move on. Okay. Is there a safe around here? There is not. There is probably more soda to be had. Another energy drink. Yeah. Maybe, let's see, maybe it's in the back here, because it did say something about it being around back. I got something wrong here. Let's check and see what the thing said. Sheet music. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, I guess we didn't even take the letter with us or the note with us, huh? Climb up. Come on, dude. Okay, come on. Dude, climb up there. Onto that thing. Okay. Man, how do we get back up there? Bruh. Oh, come on. I do have to say, it can feel a little limiting from time to time seeing where and, well, where you can and cannot jump. But. Usually sort of a way around most of it, I guess. You can usually get where you need to go. Now, where in the world are we supposed to go for that... book? The thing seems to imply that it's in a safe uh, that we can unlock with these keys that we've picked up. And that the safe is near the library here, but... I have no idea where it's at. Bury your safe behind a bunch of books. I'm an idiot. I was assuming it was outside, but it's just, it's in here somewhere, but just like hidden uh, behind books. Wow, I'm dumb. That's it right there. Dude, are you kidding me? Just have to jump around on these piles of books until I kick enough of them over. Man, I feel really stupid. <clears throat> Alright, nice work. Another notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Doc. After weeks of research, I've combined a spectrometer with a powerful UV lamp. 
With this, we should be capable of warding off the Zerks on our way out. The initial attempt was explosive. I might have to test it under real conditions. Let's find the other notebooks. All right. Nice. So now I'm thinking there's maybe only one or two more. Oh, I think I already see uh, see the next spot. Whoop, nope, climb back up. Yep. <laughs> if you go mashing X all over the place, you'll you'll go like way off and like all over the place. Alright. Now how do we get over there? Oh wait, we were just over there a minute ago. We can just kinda go around this way, I think. Maybe. Here we go. Pardon me, sir. Right. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, now I think I, I finally get it. <laughs> we take this out and just drop it on the ground there to turn off this vent fan. And now we can just drop in. Just like that. A little bit of context and we know exactly what we need to do. So smart. Let's see. Where is it? be in there possibly. I'm gonna peek around though and check and see if there's anything else in here that I'm missing first. Oh, here we go. Finally, the last notebook. This one seems to belong to someone named Zab Zabaltazar. What a strange name. All trace of organic life has disappeared except for what we call the Zerks. They seem to eat almost anything that moves and breed at an inconceivable rate. As if being locked in this city wasn't hard enough. Oh. There's also a note in this book. It says, I found a design flaw in the transceiver. But I think I figured but I think I figured out how to fix it. Here's the equation. With this, we should be able to help Momo repair the transceiver. If it can communicate with the upper levels, that could be our way up. Let's show them what we found. Okay, so now we just gotta get back to Momo. I think also at some point I might want to check on the paint people, because that there has to be something behind that. I don't know what, but um, there's something to that definitely, probably. Here's a memory though, which is cool. Remember! Remarkable companions have evolved so much. In the early days, their simple AI merely imitated human art. Did that say companions, or did I misread that? I don't know, I'm, I'm probably dumb. Now this is all their own. Humans often said that making art is important in desperate situations. These are certainly desperate times. Yes. With all these snarks abounding, of course, very desperate times.
Also kind of curious about that place. Where did uh, where did Watts's face say this note says to go? Oh, you're not gonna tell me what he said. Okay, it was something about a bar, maybe. I think. Hard to say. Well, climb up. Okay, well that was kind of pointless. Uh, let's see, how did we get up there the first time? I don't know why I climbed all the way down again. Alright, Momo. Check this thing out. Hey, little cat, are you still looking uh, for those useless notebooks? <laughs> nah, check out this useless notebook, dude. Okay, um, that might not be what I needed to show him then. Okay, not sure if I need to show him every notebook or something, or... Oh, what's that note? A transceiver can be repaired? Yeah, I guess I need to show him all the notebooks. Uh, this is incredible. That means we should be able to communicate outside of the slums. Clementine. Zabaltazar. Doc. I'm sorry, I doubted our cause. I'll, prom uh, I'll promise you, I will find a way to reach the surface. Thank you, we might be able to find, to find you a way up. All right. Now, let's fix this piece of junk transceiver. Cool. <laughs> Neat little mission. Something I, I, I actually kind of enjoy there is... Um, voila. It works. Um, come with me. Okay. Uh, is that... Um, in most... You know, most games now with sort of mission structures and things like that, um, you you don't you don't get sent off with context clues and you have to figure your own way out. Sort of like uh, things were done back in the old days of RPGs. Um, you just sort of given a, a quest marker and that's what you follow. Um, let's read this here real quick. Uh, up there, see that building high above the others. If you install the transceiver at the very top of that tower, we should be able to communicate with the whole city. My friends might still be out there. If there's a way out, they'll know it. You're the only one small and quick enough to evade the Zerks. We need you, little outsider. Bring us to the sky. Cool. Will do, bud. Um, but the... the um, Sort of the way the mission structure is set up, so that um, so that it doesn't treat you like you're a child. It doesn't just give you a, a dot on the map that you've just got to blindly follow, um, but instead, it gives you uh, it gives you uh, story and context, and says, "Hey, um, this is what you need to do. Um, we're not going to tell you how to get there, uh, or you know." Or, or, or rather, we're, we're not going to give you a one-to-one, -one, like, exact route to get there. Um, figure it out, dude. Uh, use your use your, your reasoning and your sense and figure out uh, how to get there. Okay, okay. So, why do I want to attract them? Yeah, that seems like a bad idea. Yee! Okay, 
Where are we climbing? <laughs> ah! Oh no, one was smart enough to, <laughs> to run around the other way. Oh no! Oh, I'm done for. Yep. Man! And see, I guess that's another thing too, is uh... All it tells you is how to, how to attract the enemies. Figure it out from there, dude. Let's see then. How do we figure it out from here? Where are we going? I guess we're climbing up there. Over there, so... Okay, climb. Climb! Woo, that was close. Man, these guys are everywhere. And I hate them. But it seems like they're not really good at climbing, so that's my that's my out. That's gonna help me get past all of them super easily, it would appear. I'm liking this, I'm liking sort of the the vibe now that we're finally getting into some action again, you know, a little bit of contextual storytelling in the last little section there, and now into the action. And it's, you know, awesome. Let's see, where are we going from here? Oh, here we go. Whoa! Okay. Ah, that's neat. Supposed to do something with it? Oh, yeah, I think so, so that we can climb up that. All right, nice. We're piecing it together. Now, this seems like it's going to be full of snarks, so I'm. Ooh, wow, that's gross. Yeah, looks like it will be very much full of snarks. That is disgusting looking. Oh no. Oh no! I'm wondering and I'm afraid that if I hit this, it's going to let them over here. It's worth a try, though. Ah, it is, and that was actually kind of the smart play. Okay, cool. I did something smart on accident. That hardly ever happens. Nice. I'm liking I'm liking sort of the mixture of some some horror aspects and a bit of a puzzle solving again. I think I might have mentioned that in last last episode, but worth worth recapping and bringing out again. All right. Me. Okay, ooh, this is spoopy looking. 
definitely going to be a bunch of snarks in here. Oh yeah, look at all of them. Let's see. I think my way out is right over there. Yep, all right. Ooh, more of them now, though. It does not appear that they can get up here, though, so that's good. Let's see. Oh, no. Oh! Ah! Yeet! Okay. I think I might have even tricked some of them into falling to their death there. Which is good for me, I guess. Ha ha! You fools! Come on. Come grab a bite. Hee <laughs> hee, yeah, boy. There we go. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Wondering why I want to do that though, but I'm gonna do it. Oh wow, what happened there to that one? Did they just kill each other? Alright. So we're safe here now it looks like. <clears throat> Was the point of that though? I'm still a bit confused about this one. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm starting to think I might have been dumb and did something stupid. All the dudes go. Well, now that's weird. They're all gone now. Okay, okay. I think. Oh! Here we go. I think I see what I have to do. I, I guess I was supposed to lead those guys off the edge or something so that they would die. And, uh,. Then I could roll this out this door here and climb up this, uh, climb up onto this girder. 
I did not realize that though, and I don't know what happened to those dudes. They're gone now though, so that, you know, it all worked out. Boy. That was really close. Don't know how they didn't get me there. Man, dude. Oh, no, man. Oh no! Yee! Man, these dudes are the worst! I'm, I'm hoping that this is what I'm actually supposed to be doing. Because... Uh, oh no! Oh no, I'm so dead. Ah! Man, dude! What in the world do they expect from you there? You can't get rid of them fast enough. They keep just popping out of nowhere, man. Let's see, can I jump back onto this thing? No. Bruh. Hmm. I don't know man, maybe you're just supposed to run around and hope they don't latch onto you. Pretty lame, though, if you ask me. Ooh, juke! Oh no, oh no, oh no! Ooh. Oh man, come on! Oh, come! Dude, come on. I'm cool. I hate these things. They're the worst. That was intense. <laughs> Top floor, hopefully no more snarks. Ooh, spoopy and ominous sounds. Here it is, put the transceiver on this antenna. Okay. Nice. Once again, this is a beautiful game.
Look, the view, it's beautiful from up here. Indeed. I remember now the city. It was meant to be a shelter. Those look like stars, but they're only lights marking the, the hermetic roof, sealing off the city. Humankind built this shell to protect themselves from the outside, but it came at a cost. Nobody could get out, or nobody can go out. The outside was a disaster, completely barren, unlivable, and dangerous. But if you come from there, it must mean it's safe again. My promise wasn't just to go out, uh, wasn't just to go to the outside, it was to open the city. Okay. I still don't understand why some memories are coming back and others aren't. But I'm certain now this is my purpose. I have to open the city. Come on, let's go back and find Momo. Now that we've connected the transmitter, uh, we should be able to get help. Neat. All right. Well, guys, that seems like a pretty good place to end the episode. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, a like rating is much appreciated. And please consider subscribing. More of these videos to come, more uh, Skyrim to come, and uh, more various other videos to like. Uh, anyways, see you next time. Bye.